you love cookies. Wanna see this new awesome thing I can do? Yeah, show me! Come over here, Molly. This is the perfect spot to show you my new move. Here we go! Someone's gonna be calling 911! I'll be fine, trust me. That's a small little jump. Holy guacamole! That was amazing! Well, well, well. What do we have here? A bunch of losers? Uh -oh. Sarah, don't come outside my house and bully me. Hey, Sarah, you said that um skateboards are lame. Well, can you do this? I can be cool too. Let me have your skateboard, Brookie. Uh oh Don't do it. Uh, I didn't mean it. D -d Don't do it. Uh, you're going to get hurt. Please. <laughs> Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? Molly, is that blood? Uh, uh, Brookie? Hey, Brookie, what's up? We're over here. Oh, hey, Molly. <laughs> I was wondering if you were in your house, you were outside, or what? Whoa, I love your skateboard. Oh, thanks. I just got this new one because I broke my old one. Oh, what? You broke your old one? How'd you do that? Oh, I was trying to do this super cool, sweet move. And, well, it broke right in half. <laughs> Thank goodness you didn't break right in half. That sport is so dangerous. Oh, Daisy, just keep reading your book. Well, I will, because I don't need to break any bones or anything like that. Uh-huh, yep, whatever you say. So, Brookie, are you getting really good with your skateboard? It doesn't sound like it since she well, went a little quick cray and broke the last one. Don't pay attention to her. She's just being, well, boring. Uh, yeah, I've gotten really good. Do you want to see this new awesome thing I can do? Yeah, show me. Come over here, Molly. This is the perfect spot to show you my new move. You're going to jump on top of that? Uh, Brookie? Uh -oh. Here we go. Someone's going to be calling 911. I'll be fine. Trust me. That's a small little jump. I've got this. Okay, Brookie. Let's see it. Holy guacamole. That was amazing. I want to see that again. Instant replay. Or could you just do it again? Sure. Here we go. Oh my god, you're amazing! Thanks, Molly. I've been practicing that for a while. And, well, I'm practicing even bigger jumps than that one. Wow. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A bunch of losers? Uh -oh. Sarah, don't come outside my house and bully me. Well, I don't see your name on this street. Yes, it is. Uh, no, Molly. This is Brookhaven Street and Park Lynette. Ow. Okay, well, it should say Molly Avenue. I'm a famous YouTuber! Yeah, except for nobody cares. I can be out on the street and say anything I want, like the fact that you're a loser. <laughs> Who rides skateboards? You could be driving a car, but wait, oh yeah, you're poor. <laughs> so you can't afford a cool car like mine. <laughs> Sarah, quit bullying us or else. Or else what? Hey, Sarah, you said that um skateboards are lame. Well, can you do this? Do what? Stand there and, like, smell bad like a skunk? <laughs> Does it smell like a skunk? Watch this. I bet you can't do this. Um, I don't need to do that. I have a car. And look at this loser over here, just sitting there reading, studying again. Such a nerd. Well, I'm trying to get a good grade at school in my science test. Duh. Yeah, that's all you do. You're such a loser. Just because I like to study and read books doesn't make me a, make me a loser. Well, it makes you a nerd. <laughs> nerd, nerd, nerd. Ugh, you're so boring. That's not nice. Yes, yeah, Sarah, that's not nice. But uh, Daisy, she kind of has a point. We're out here hanging out as friends and all you want to do is read a book? <laughs> really? You're supposed to be my sister and stick up for me. Haha, <laughs> even your own sister thinks you're a loser. I didn't say she was a loser. I just said, well, Daisy, you are kind of boring. Molly, <sighs> rude. You know what? I don't, I don't need this. I, I can be cool too. Let me have your skateboard, Brookie. Uh-oh. Wait, 
What? Are you sure that's a good idea, Daisy? Have you ever ridden a skateboard before? How high can it be? Even ignoramuses can do it. Hey, that's not very nice. Are you bullying my friend? Whoa. <laughs> Looks like you guys aren't the best friends you thought you were. All of you are getting fights. It's awesome. Move out of my way. I can make that jump off that ramp. It's so easy. I'm smart and talented. Daisy, don't do it. Uh, I didn't mean it. D don't do it. Uh, you're going to get hurt. Please. Oh, you meant it all right. But I'm going to prove to you all that the fifth that I'm not a loser or a nerd. I have lots of talent, and this is one of them. This isn't gonna end well. I just have a feeling. Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? Oh! 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 I think it's broken! <laughs> I got that totally on Snapchat. <laughs> Sarah, don't you dare send that snap. Too late. <laughs> I knew she was a loser. Sarah! Molly, is that blood? Uh, uh, Brookie? Oh, my leg! Ah! Everybody's like having an emergency around me. Oh! What should I do? My parents taught me what to do. Panic! Panic, right? No, not panic. Not panic. Oh, yeah. Don't panic and call 911. 911, what's your emergency? Um, uh, my sister, she fell off a ramp, and I think she broke her leg. There's a lot of blood. And my other friend, she passed out because of the blood. I, I live on Parkland Ave. Okay, try to stay calm. Is your sister conscious? Yes, it hurts a lot. Did you hear that? We did. We'll be there as quickly as possible. Try not to run them over. Uh, They're right in the street. Oh, my. Okay. We'll be there soon. Thank you. Daisy, can you hear me? Yes, Ignoramus. I didn't hit my ears. I broke my leg. Brookie? Brookie? Brookie! Oh, no. This is so bad. But this is my fault. I, I shouldn't have sided with Sarah and, and, and bullied Daisy. I, I didn't mean it that way. I, I oh, no. I ruined everything. We Okay, I'm just gonna get my stretcher. I'll be there in one second. Don't worry, Daisy. He, he's gonna take care of you. And Brookie, I hope he can take care of you too. Oh my. Two kids right in the middle of the road. This is a dangerous situation. It's gonna be okay though, right? You need to put some cones out. Go into the back of my ambulance and grab them, okay? Okay. Oh no. I always mess this stuff up. I, I feel like I always do. Daisy, I just need you to take some deep breaths. Oh, I messed up even more. I accidentally put a road cone on top of Brookie. Ow. Well, at least everyone will know not to hit her. Oh, why can't I do anything right today? Oh. Daisy, I'm here for you. Like you were here for me before when you said I was a loser. <gasps> Daisy, you shouldn't have rode that. You know you're not into skateboarding. I can't believe it. Everyone thinks I'm a loser. And now they really think I'm a loser. Uh oh. Jesus, who cares what anyone else thinks? You're amazing and smart. And you don't have anything to prove to anybody. Yeah, tell that to my broken leg. Wee, 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 Why are you making that siren sound? Because my siren broke on the way over here, and uh, I wanted to let everyone know where the emergency room is. Ay, ay, ay. Brookie, Brookie, say something. I'm so sorry about this. I, I didn't know you were afraid to see blood. I'm sorry to say this, Molly, but your friend is in a coma. What? Yeah, it was so traumatic for her to see your sister get injured that, well, I don't know when she's going to wake up. Oh, um, she. Okay. Where's my sister? Daisy? Daisy? Oh, my leg! Oh! Your sister's gonna need an x-ray to see how extensive, um, well, her surgery's gonna be. Surgery? Uh oh Surgery! Uh, are you kidding me? Can't believe I broke my leg. 
Why did I even listen to what they said about me? Ugh, I'm so mad at myself and my sister and Sarah and everybody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to do surgery right away. I don't, I don't want to have surgery. <laughs> so stressed, so worried. Ugh, oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, a snack machine. Ugh, oh, thank goodness. Mm, donuts. This will make everything better. It'll make everything better. You're back, Brookie. It's so good to see you. Huh, what happened? Well, you had a little bit of trauma because you saw your friend get hurt. And when you saw the blood, you freaked out, passed out, and had a little bit of a coma. A little bit of a coma? Is that a thing? It totally is. Where's my BFF, Molly? I need to see her. Uh, sorry. She's also in a coma, too. Wait, what? Yes. Uh, a food coma. Don't worry. We're giving her some IV medication to help with her stomach ache. Ugh. Why'd I eat so much from the hospital vending machine? Ugh. Hmm, okay. This bone looks pretty broken. We may need to put some pins and rods in here. But she should heal up nicely. What's, what's going on? What's going on? Is you're not supposed to wake up? More anesthesia, please. More anesthesia. That's better. Whew. I've never had that happen with a patient before. She must have a super brain. Molly? Uh, say something, Molly. Ugh. I'm never going to eat a donut again. Really? Because... They're bringing donut for dessert at the hospital tonight, you know? What? There's more There's more donuts? Are, are you serious? Yeah, but you don't want any more, right? Since your stomach hurts? Well, I mean, there's always room for just one more, right? Ay, 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 Molly. Ugh, Brookie, I'm so glad you're feeling better. I was so worried and I felt so guilty that I, I hurt everybody I love today. Molly, no. You didn't. I mean, what you said to Daisy was a little bit rude, but, like, she decided to jump off that ramp. It was her choice. Molly, seriously, you're eating more donuts? You you just woke up in your, from your food coma. I know. I was just really stressed out about you guys, and donuts made me feel better. Oh, Molly. Daisy? She sounds like a baby. What'd they do to her? Operate on her brain? Oh, no. We just had to give her a lot more anesthesia because, well, she woke up during her surgery. <gasps> Say what? Are you serious? Totally. But don't worry. She'll be fine in about 24 hours. If you guys want to stay, you totally can. I'll get you some sleeping bags. I wouldn't dream of leaving my sister. Not ever. Whoa, it's like a sleepover at the hospital. Yeah, but I'm not really sure Daisy knows she's actually at the sleepover. <laughs> yep, she definitely doesn't. Well, at least we're all together. Yeah, totally. Trust me, when I was your age, I loved playdates. Mom, don't try to get in the stroller. I know that you're tired from being up with baby Kira all night, but you can't fit in the stroller. Don't worry, Molly. I'm not going to try to sit in the stroller. It looks like you did just right now, Mom. Don't lie. Okay, maybe I wanted to sit down for just a second. I want to get on my stroller and put it on. Yeah, when we get over to the playground, you can run around, okay? You're not my mom. I don't have to listen to you. Listen here, little Molly. Don't call your sister a brat or any other names. It's her big day. She's at her play date. Okay, well, have fun, baby Kira. Why did I have to come along? Because if you're going to babysit your little sister this summer on school break, you have to know exactly what these play dates are all about. Uh, looks like baby Kira just runs around and plays. Pretty much, but I always encourage her to, like, find new friends, talk to people, you know, socialize. Okay, well, um, there's no other kids around right now, but... Oh, baby Kira, are you happy on the swing? Ow! It's not meant for you, you too fat. What? No, I'm not. Don't say that. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, how come you can't make this swing go? 
Um, I don't know, it, cause it's broken or something, I think. I think I'll just sit here and eat a piece of pizza. Aha, uh -huh. sure. Oh, my little sister can be so rude. Don't make me give you a time out. And now I can relax while Molly watches baby Kira. Oh, I see what you were doing, Mom. Making me babysit while you relax at the beach. I don't think so. I'm getting in the water. Molly, you have to watch baby Kira or at least help me. Okay, baby Kira, come on. We're swimming. Molly, she can't swim out that far. She'll drown. No, she won't. Look, ooh, whoa. What's down there? It's like a whale. Just a big rock, though. I used to love coming to swim here when I came to baby playgroups. Wait, where's, where's baby Kira? I thought you were watching her. Oh my god, we lost her! Uh, wait, is she tri- Is that Rainbow Friends? And did she just go in that house? Because if she did, oh my gosh. Bum, bum, bum! This can't be good, guys. What'd you do with my sister, crazy? All right, I'm gonna go look for my sister, see if she's in here. Whoa, this is a nice house. Okay, that's not my sister's room. That's not my sister in there. Maybe I just thought that was my sister. Ooh, nice bathroom. Ah! Why are you out here? Probably wants to know why I'm in his house. Okay, fine, I'm leaving your house. I thought my sister came in here. But I guess not. We're on a play day and okay, anyway. Whoa, I went in the wrong room. I can't get out. I can't figure it out. Oh my gosh, guys. I really don't know how to get out of here. Um, apparently this is where they trap people under the stairs. Baby, how do I get out of your house already? I'm gonna take the back door. Oh, it's locked. Oh my god, guys! I'm locked in here with one of the rainbow friends. This isn't good. Phew, I'm finally out. Molly, did you find baby Kira? Um, well, uh, Molly! You lost her! Okay, come on. We'll find her together. All right. Baby Kira! This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Baby Kira, where are you? B baby Kira? Sorry I lost you. Baby Kira! Get down from that fountain! Oh, boy, Molly. I can see you're gonna have your hands full this summer. Baby Kira, um, you do not run out of our sight, okay? I want to go wild, Pop. Wait, what? They put in a water park here? They sure did, Molly. It's been a long time since you've been a baby. Yeah, I want to go to the water park. Let's go. Holy guacamole. Look at that water park. It looks amazing. Hmm, it looks like it's starting to get dark. We might have to go home soon. Not before we go to the water park, Mom. And they put in a cinema here, too? And Scooby-Doo is playing? Oh, my gosh. So much better than when it was just, like, boring swings and a slide when I was a baby. <laughs> Come on, baby Kira. Last one to the top. So rotten egg. Um, Molly, wait for your little sister, please. She's just a baby. Come on, baby Kira. I can't. I come out. I just have a very short day, so it takes me a long time. I know it takes you a long time because you're still really tiny and short. Whoa, look at all these. Now, since you've never... Baby Kira, what are you doing? Baby Kira? Baby Kira, are you okay? Oh my god, I think she just fell into the water. I'm coming, baby Kira. Ow, oh, that was not very deep. Ouch. Ba baby Kira? All right, I, I lost my sister. Again, I think it's safe to say that I'm not going to get the job this summer. <laughs> oh, well, I just wanted to eat ice cream and hang out and play Roblox anyway. Oh, my gosh, guys. Where is my little sister? Oh, wait, there she is. Baby Kira, you cannot go through the railing. Oops, yeah, I didn't mean to. Um, Now we have to go back this way. Go in Wild Park and try again. Yeah, this time, don't go through the railing. Just go up the stairs, and then we'll take a raft together, okay? Molly, is everything okay? Oh, man. Better not tell my mom I lost her again. Everything's fine. Molly, you lost your sister again, didn't you? Um, Molly? Sorry. Okay, baby, Kara, come on now. Molly, I'll give you a time out if you don't tell me the truth from now on. I know. We can't lie, Mom. Got it. Do, 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 do. Okay, baby, Kara, I'm going to launch the raft. Baby, Kara, are you ready? I got me. I swore will win you. Here we go. Here comes the raft. Get on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my gosh, now I'm not on. Okay, there we go. Ha ha ha! Baby Kara, this is gonna be the most fun play day ever, even though you didn't really play with any other kids. Just your sister. Wee! This is fun! Ah! You're crazy! I love it! Yeah, it is really fun, huh? Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> I go crazy! Oh, go, go! Ouch! Ah! What happened? What happened is we flipped upside down, and now I'm off the raft. Ugh. Oh, wow, Molly, how did it go? Um, well, um, our raft sank, and I can't find baby Kira. Molly, this is the third time you couldn't find her. She's coming. Oh, wait, now I'm going backwards, and I can't stop going backwards. All right, here we go. Oh, it's probably not a good thing that the water park's rafts sink. 
I have wallpaper. I have a go poo poo. Uh, Mom, you're all about the dirty diapers. I'm just chilling. Ah, uh, okay, Molly. I guess we should get going home. But what did you think of your play date? I'm play with Fang Boy. Yeah, <laughs> but you got to go down a water slide. That was pretty fun. Yeah, and disappear three times. Come on, let's go um, potty and change your diaper, and we'll eat some pizza. Okay, baby Kira's changed. Mom, it's not that late. Can we please go see the new Scooby-Doo movie? I go see Minions. No, Minions not out yet. See, it says coming soon. Um, yeah, sure. I guess we could watch Scooby-Doo and eat some pizza. Yes! Come on, let's get tickets. Oops, I almost forgot the tickets. <laughs> How many? Um, me, my baby sister, and my mom. Three tickets, okay? Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Whoa, I got the hiccups. I didn't even eat the pizza yet, and I got the hiccups. Holy guacamole, man. I got pizza, and I'm going to watch a movie, and it's been the best play date ever with you, Molly. Oh, baby Kira, that's so sweet. Mm. Theater pizza is always the best. You're saying that to me, and I've been eating it for a really long time. So I've been around a lot longer than you guys have. Yeah, well, I guess I don't need to tell you, huh, Mom? Not really. Ooh, his epic tail begins, get it? <laughs> Ma, quiet, the, the movie about the star. Okay, okay, I'll be quiet. Ah, this was actually a pretty fun play date, even though it was for a baby. <laughs> I get to eat pizza and watch a movie? Sign me up! That was the longest school day of my life. Tell me about it. My backpack is so heavy with all the stuff they sent home. You mean homework, Molly? I know. I'm never going to see the sun again. I'll be stuck in my room doing homework forever. Hey, girls. How was school? Whoa, neither one of you look too happy. What's wrong? Your dad and I thought that maybe we could go to In-N-Out Burger and then go hang out at the pool. What do you think? I'd love to, Mom, but I have so much homework. Yeah, they sent so much stuff home. My backpack is stuffed. It's hurting my back. What are you talking about, Molly? Your backpack is just full of snacks. Okay, well, yeah, but it's still really heavy. And they did tell me to take all these snacks out of my locker. Oh, Molly. Always thinking about your stomach. Huh? Why don't you guys hurry up, get your homework done, and then we'll go to In-N-Out Burger in the pool. Yeah, your homework surely won't take more than an hour. Well, I I hope not, because I would love to go eat fast food and then go to the pool. Well, I can go right now. Homework schmomework. Molly, I expect you to do your homework. How could you do any homework when she only put snacks on? Well, <laughs> I could concentrate on eating all the snacks. That sounds like a perfect assignment. Molly, I expect you to actually do your homework, not just eat snacks. And then we can go to In-N-Out Burger and to the pool. Okay, well, we'll try our best to do our homework as quickly as possible. Two hours later. The teacher must hate us. To give us this much homework, it's just cruel. I know, Molly. Hey girls, are you ready to go home to In-N-Out Burger and then go to the pool? I wish, Mom. We were still doing our homework. We're not even halfway done. Mom, why are the teachers so mean at our school? We need a life outside of homework. Wow, I'm surprised they've given you over two hours of homework. I think that might be kind of ridiculous. Yeah, but we better do it, Mom. We're gonna get detention. Guess no in and out pool go a pool for us. Oh, girls, this just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem fair. <gasps> well, honey, if they say that they have to do the homework, they have to do it. But, but we can't go do anything fun either because these kids always have so much homework. I mean, when do they have time to just be kids? Go to the pool, get a burger, hang out with their friends. Um, on Saturday? Yeah, but you know, we don't go to work and then come home at 5 o'clock and have to have three hours of homework. We get to, like, what, do other stuff? Like clean the house? <laughs> uh, okay, but that's besides the point. They should have time to be kids. You know, I think I'm going to apply for the principal job. Say what? You as a principal? Ha <laughs> ha, poor kids. What? No, I can be fun. I can be lots of fun. And you know what? I think these kids should have fun. Shouldn't school be fun? Shouldn't home be fun? 
You only get to be a kid once. Um, well, I don't know, but I wouldn't want my mom to be the principal. That sounds terrible. It's settled then. I'm going to be the Brookhaven School Principal. The next day. So, for problem number two, you divide six by the 13, and then you multiply that by four. Excuse me, Molly, are you even listening to anything I'm saying? Molly, the teacher's talking to you. What, huh? All it sounds like is blah, 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 blah. Sorry, teacher, but you made me do so much homework. My brain is complete mush. Fry. Dunzo. Now when's it lunchtime? I need a burrito. Molly, if you're not going to be a good student and pay attention in this class, I'll have no choice but to give you detention. <gasps> May I have your attention, please? This is the principal of Brookhaven speaking. <laughs> and today, sorry, I'm just a little excited that I get to use the loudspeaker. This is so cool. That voice sounds so familiar. Is that my mom? From now on, every student will get a recess break. A recess break from 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning. This is to give students a break because school is hard. Also, there'll be no more homework. They'll get an hour for lunch instead of a half an hour, and they'll get another break in the afternoon just to chill, relax, take a nap, or do what they need to do. We're not robots, teachers! Wait, what? Who is this principal? What happened to Principal Snyder? Uh -oh. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> I'm gonna go take my break, though. Uh, principal mandated. Molly, I really do think that the principal's our mom. What? Nah, our mom wouldn't be that cool. Guys, I think we should go say hello to the new principal. See who it is. I know you think that this is mom, but it's not mom. It is! I recognize her voice. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Mom? <laughs> Hey, Molly. <laughs> they hired me as the new Brookhaven High principal, and I think I'm going to be doing a great job. No more homework, some breaks for you guys. Last night, I realized they're working you too hard at school. You have no time to be, well, human. Mom, you are amazing. All right, girls, now go ahead and relax for an hour because then school will start up again. And make sure you're paying attention in your classes because you won't have homework to practice it. <laughs> homework, schmomework. This is going to be awesome. Wow. Like you're surprised that I'm in the cafeteria for my break. <laughs> what else would I be doing but eating delicious food? What are you kids doing here? It's not lunchtime yet. Large March, didn't you hear? Now we get an hour break in the morning and we're hungry. Yeah, Large Marge. Mm, these Doritos are delicious. I'll have that pizza, please. Ooh, apples. Ooh, I want a soda, too. You kids are going to eat all the stuff for lunch. Then what's everyone going to eat for lunch? Who is this principal? They should be fired. Um, it's my mom. And maybe I should just make more food. There's only one of me. I wasn't prepared. Get off the counter. What are you, what are you doing, you animal? Stop eating everything for lunch. This is delicious, Large Marge. Oh, this is annoying. Molly, come on. We're going to be late for our class. Food coma. Huh. Happy, but in a coma. I can't. Molly, get up. I really can't. I ate way too much pizza. Huh. The button on my shorts is about to pop off. Good thing I lift all those weights because you're super heavy. Hey, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that maybe you should have less snacks, Molly. Oh, come on. Let's get to class. Okay, class. <laughs> this new schedule is kind of making me crazy, but it doesn't change that today I planned a pop quiz. Surprise! Hi, everyone. It's your new principal again. I, I hope you're having an amazing day. I forgot to mention earlier, there'll be no quizzes and no tests from here on out. We are not robots. 
thoughts were humans. And just because we regurgitate something that you want us to memorize on a test doesn't mean that we're actually smart. Smarts are shown out in the streets. No more tests ever. This principal is ruining our lives. <laughs> Everything we've ever known as teachers, it's, 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 it's all going, it's all going away. Uh, okay, well, if there's no pop quiz, then you'll answer the questions from the pop quiz. Except for you won't be graded and it won't be a quiz. It'll just be a question and answer. Yes. Molly, are you even listening? Sorry, Professor, but Molly's actually in a food coma. What? Oh, she hasn't even had lunch yet. Well, she decided along with a bunch of other students that we were going to have snacks during our little break this morning. What? But, uh, Molly, wake up! Whoa, dude, why are you yelling? Teachers aren't supposed to yell at us. Are you calling me dude? Why are you calling me dude? Um, I don't know. I just thought it was a good idea. Oh, man, Molly, you're going to get detention. And by the way, you've got some drool on your mouth. <laughs> yeah, tastes like burritos. Mmm. Ew. Okay, Molly. You need to answer this first question! Why does he talk like that sometimes? I don't know. I think our science teacher's a little cray-cray. I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> okay, yeah, sometimes I do go a little crazy. <laughs> uh, maybe you're just brilliant. That's why you're so crazy. You're just trying to be nice to me. The teacher's pet, so I don't give you detention! Um, you can't give me detention? It's against the rules. I don't understand. This is all too much. All too much! Uh, uh, uh. You know what this means? Time to party! Dear Board of Education, I think my approach to being a principal is working wonderful at Brookhaven High. What's that smell? It smells like... Fire and rotten eggs. I better go check this out. Warning, no teachers allowed? What's going on in the science room? What on earth? What? The, 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 the classroom, it's a mess, and then, then there's a fire, and what's going on? Molly! Come on, Mom, come on, join in at the party. Where is the science teacher? Ah, uh, he ran out of here and quit. But we were doing some science ones at that or looney tunes this is looney tunes i don't think so i think this is school with no rules and it's perfect no offense principal acker because i'm usually a super sweet person but you're the worst principal ever making all these snacks for the kids are you serious i still only make minimum wage and my back is killing me these little pigs eat everything I don't like you as a principal. No tests? No pop quizzes? And I set my classroom on fire! What kind of world am I living in? I... I don't even know anymore. We want you... Well, to resign from your principal position. Uh oh Well, I thought I was doing a great job here, but obviously you don't understand my methods. And, well... I don't need this. I I can go back to working at McDonald's. Ooh. That was much better than this. Yeah, much better. No more teachers, no more books, no more homework to do, do, do. Hello, students. Sit down in your chairs or you'll get detention. Get good grades or you'll get detention. Do your homework or you'll get detention. Principal Snyder's back. Well, I mean, once they gave me a raise and a two-week vacation, but I'm back. No! <laughs> oh, why? Why? <laughs> oh, why? Oh, why?
welcome to Taco Bell. What can I get for you today? Uh, yeah, I'll have a chicken gordita. Hey, did I ever tell you that I was the principal of Brickhaven High and I was the best principal they ever had? Uh, sure you were, Lady. Now, are you gonna make me my chicken gordita or not? Ugh, this lady is delusional. Okay, <sighs> one chicken gordita coming right up. <coughs> Hello, class. Good morning. Hi, Mr. Smith. Hi, Mr. Smith. I did extra credit homework. Daisy, you're such a teacher's pet. <sighs> wow, Daisy. I wasn't expecting that from you. Really? She always does stuff like that. <laughs> Just kidding. I know Daisy well. She always does the extra credit homework. Today, class, we are going to be doing a very special assignment. Um, I don't really like assignments. How about we go to Disneyland instead? <laughs> That's what you think. You're in prison, otherwise known as school. Oh, Mr. Smith, you're hilarious. Your assignment tonight is to write a paper on what you'll be like in a hundred years. Wow. Oh, that's easy. If you're Molly, you're going to be in an old person's home. Hey, I don't care. As long as they've got Cheetos. Lots and lots of Cheetos. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, you'll probably still be thinking about your stomach a hundred years from now. I definitely will. <laughs> Stomachs are the most important thing about the body because they're always hungry and they always want snacks. Ay, ay, ay. Well, where I'm going to be in a hundred years is totally famous. As soon as I get out of this stupid school, I'm going to be the biggest TikToker, YouTuber person ever. <laughs> I already have a YouTube channel. <laughs> That's not funny, Sarah. You took Brookie's channel. I know, and I'm such a better YouTuber than her. My videos are so amazing. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't think you're very amazing. I think you're a... Uh... Molly, that's enough of that. Back in your chair. Unless, of course, you would like detention. No, Mr. Smith. Sorry, Mr. Smith. So, everybody, I want you to bring your paper, what you'll be like in 100 years, to school tomorrow. Now, you guys can start working on it in class today. Oh, yay. Can we? Oh, homework. Papers. Fun. I think this assignment's gonna be amazing because I know exactly where I'm gonna be in Andrew Hills. Will I be in a hundred years? I don't know. Well, I definitely know that I'll still be eating lots of snacks. In a hundred years, I will be eating lots of snacks. My favorites are chocolate cupcakes, wow. Cheetos, and also pizza. Ugh. This thing has to be a thousand words at a minimum. I can't just talk about snacks the whole time. Or can I? <laughs> just kidding, I can't write cupcakes a thousand times. I actually have to do this assignment. I don't know where I'm gonna be in a thousand years. I do. A thousand, cheapest Molly. You'll be dead by then. Ow. This is exactly where you'd be in a thousand years. Rest in peace, Molly. May you rest in peace. Jiminy Cricket, Daisy, you know I meant a hundred years, not a thousand. Well, I'm just saying. I don't know where I'm going to be. I really don't. Ow. Molly, I can see it now. You can? Well, that makes one of us. You're going to be, well, none other than Molly to the day you die. Well, I'm starving. I need a Starbucks donut stat. Hey, welcome. What do you want? Well, for starters, a better attitude would be nice. I like service with a smile. Ugh, annoying. Can I get you something? Yeah, I'll have um, one of those donuts, one of those muffins, one of those cookies, and also some of that banana nut um, muffin bread or whatever it is. Okay, um, that's going to be like $50. What? Okay, just give me the donut then. Ooh. That will be $15. Holy guacamole, $15. I remember when I was a little kid, a donut was like three bucks. Well, times they are changing. Do you want the donut or not? Can you just give me the first one for free? I really don't have any money. Ooh. Well, you're really a grown up now. Why don't you really get a job? We're hiring here. 
Me? Work here? Now that sounds like a lot of work. Besides, do you know how many donuts I'd eat a day? You would definitely lose money having me working here. Well, then you can't have a donut. Now scram. Oh, this stinks. I want a donut. I guess she's right. I guess I need to have, like, like a job and stuff. Hmm, where could I work that I could make a lot of money and quick? I know. I could be a dental assistant. Thanks, tons of money. Hi, um, I was wondering, do you have any job openings? Oh, yes. Actually, my dental hygienist just quit yesterday. And I have so many patients that need, well, a hygienist. Uh-oh. Uh, and no problem. I'm your girl. Wait, what's a hygienist do? Oh, just get back here. I need your help. Okay, sure. Patient in chair number one needs her teeth cleaned. Oh, it's teeth cleaning. I brush my teeth at least, well, once a day, right? I should be an, an awesome person at this. Okay, Susie, the hygienist is here. I don't like the dentist. Good thing I'm not a dentist. I'm a hygienist. What? Is that a thing? Yeah, a hygienist. <laughs> oh, we know exactly what we're doing when it comes to teeth and, and polishing them and stuff. Uh, okay. I, I guess I can trust you. Oh, of course you can. My name's Molly, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hi. Wow, your teeth look really good except for that one. What? What's wrong with it? Well, it's kind of green. Did you eat spinach today? No. Uh-oh. Hate to tell you this, but I'm going to have to pull your tooth. Ow! What? But, 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 do you know how to pull teeth? You're just a hygienist. Um, well, <laughs> yes, I do. I have experience in this. One time, my sister had a loose baby tooth, so I tied a string around it, and then I yanked it out of her mouth. Oh, um, I want my mom. What? No, you're going to be fine. I promise. Dentist, help me. Molly, is everything okay in here? Uh, sure, doctor. Um, I was just telling your patient here. She definitely is going to need to have her tooth pulled. What? It's not your job to pull her teeth. Let me take a look. That tooth just has what looks to be guacamole. Did you have guacamole? Yeah. What? I asked you! No, you asked if I ate spinach, and I said no. Do you even have any references when it comes to uh -oh. being... Um... You're fired! Bye! Okay, so having a job... In, wait a minute. Um, can I have my paycheck? What? You were here for ten minutes! Yes, but that's enough to buy a donut, and I really need one. Fine. Here's fifteen dollars. Now get out of my office. I'm so excited! Oh, you again? Wait, you have money? Yep, I have money for a donut. I had a job. You had a job? Yeah, for like 10 minutes, but <laughs> it was enough to buy me this donut, so here you go. Okay, fine. What kind do you want? The blueberry kind with frosting? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Mmm, that's great. Where's my tip? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't work long enough at my job to give you a tip. Oh, get out. You're so annoying. Fine, thanks for the donut. Thank you is a nice tip, right? No. <laughs> mm, this donut's delicious. Oh, I could really use a donut right about now. <coughs> I'm starving. Hey, old lady. What are you calling old there, Sonny? Don't be rude or I'll hit you over the head with my walker. Whoa, we got a grumpy old one here. All right, lady, what can I get for you? I would like a blueberry donut, please, with the frosting. Okay, that'll be $30. $30? Ow! You made me jump up and down and that hurt my hip. I'm old. Why are you trying to give me a heart attack? It's $30, lady. Do you want it or not? Well, back when I was younger, they were only $15. Well, get with the program. They're not anymore. Now, $30, please. I don't have $30. Don't you feel sorry for me, though? Look at me. I'm so old. I don't have any money. I just need a donut. 
like, what? No, I don't feel sorry for you because you're old. I feel like you need to give me $30 or you can't have a donut. Ooh. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. I'm too old to get a job. I've never kept a job my entire adult life. Where am I going to get $30? <gasps> I know. I'll go swimming in the wishing pond. Uh-oh. Everybody puts their dreams in there and wishes. And they toss a quarter in and they think it's going to come true. Well, sorry, but I'm going to have to steal your wishes today because I need $30. Uh, uh, I just got to get into the wishing pond. And uh, this fountain is much taller than I remember it used to be. Oh, I was in with a walker. <laughs> now that's going to be crazy. All right, let's start collecting coins. Uh, I'm soaking wet, but at least I have $30 in coins. Well, those are heavy. I can taste that donut already. Hurry up, give me a donut before I have a heart attack and die. What? Where's your $30? Here you go. What? Lady, that bag is all full of quarters and dimes. Yeah, and I had to work real hard to collect all these. But trust me, it's $30 plus. There's a 10 cent tip in there for you, Sonny. Wow. Oh, you're the worst. Fine, leave the bag and take your donut. That's one delicious donut. You have a nice life. Trust me, it goes by much faster than you'd ever think. So my mine's been full of donuts. Ugh, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to get a delicious Starbucks donut. Hang on, I'm going, I'm going. Many, many minutes later. One eternity later. Hello, welcome to Starbucks Coffee. What can I get started for you today? What? A stinking robot? Are you kidding me? Where's the humans? I find that comment very offensive. I did a lot of training and programming to have this job. It is special to my heart. Blah, blah, blah. You're a robot. Be quiet. Take my order. Wow. You're a rude old fart, aren't you? Wow. They programmed the robot to have an attitude? Are you serious? <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Where is all your hair? <laughs> you are a rude robot. Okay, you try being 100 years old and see where your hair goes to. Ooh. Let me tell you where it goes. It disappears. Well, that stinks for you. I'm going to live forever. I knew robots would take over the world. <laughs> I knew it. What do you want, please? I would like a blueberry donut with frosting, please. That will be a hundred dollars. What? A hundred? Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. It is one hundred dollars. Do you have one hundred dollars? Um, uh, 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 I'm not feeling so good, Mr. Robot. Uh oh I think my sugar must be so low. Uh, uh. Next customer, please. Ow. I'm down here dying. I'm a hundred years old. Just make my death wish a happy one and 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 give me the donut. Cannot give you donut without $100. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Oh, fine. I'll, I'll be right back. Get on, you old turd. Get going. I will go as soon as I want. Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Toll road. You can't pass unless you each give me 20 Five dollars. This old lady's crazy. Crazy smart. I need my donut, or you won't like me. Twenty-five bucks, please. Fine. Here. Next. Twenty-five bucks, please. <sighs> okay. I have your hundred dollars. Please give me a donut. We are out of those donuts. What? Give me the donut. Make another one. I am not programmed to make the donuts. I can only sell the donuts. Other robots make the donuts. 
Oh my god. I'm done. I, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I've lived a hundred years. They're out of donuts. I'm done. Well, we do have strawberry donuts. I don't like strawberry donuts. I like blueberry donuts. I can't believe this. This is the worst day of my life. I just want a blueberry donut. And that's what I envision your next hundred years to be like. Daisy, that's not what's going to happen. You didn't even tell me what happened after I didn't get the blueberry donut. You died because blueberry was your life. Daisy, that's ridiculous. Come on. Molly, it's true. It's how I envision your future. Okay, fine. Well, I don't have any other ideas, so I'm going to use that one. Oh, boy, Molly. Okay, if you really want to. Molly didn't get a good job because she didn't do her homework. Oops. And so, then she had to try to get jobs but couldn't. And then there was no blueberry donuts. The end. Molly, you missed a whole bunch of stuff in this story. Yeah, I know, but that's a thousand words, so can I just be done? Ay, ay, ay. The future was already starting with you. You're acting like a total ignoramus. Yes, but I'm really hungry. I want to go down to Starbucks and, and, and get a blueberry donut. Of course you do, Molly. Of course you do. Blueberry donuts are life! <laughs> This week on Survivor, man gets eaten by a crocodile. Holy guacamole! <gasps> oh, look, it's Brookie! Hello? Hey, Molly, what are you doing? I'm um, just watching some TV, but did you know on Survivor this week, somebody gets eaten by a crocodile? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I know, crazy, right? Hey, what are you doing right now? You want to play some soccer or something? No! I'd love to. Let me go ask my mom, okay? Hold on. Mom! 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 Yes, Molly, I'm over here doing a mountain of chores. Would you like to help? <laughs> Very funny, Mom. Hey, um, since it's summer break, Bricky wants to come over and hang out and play soccer. Is that okay? Um, well, I don't know. Your room was really messy. Did you clean it? Um, yeah, it's clean-ish. Sort of. I mean, pretty clean. Yeah, it's clean. Okay, Molly. Well, as long as your room is clean. Sure, Brookie can come over. Wow. Hey, Brookie, you still there? Yeah, Molly, what's going on? My mom said you could come over. Come on over in like five minutes, okay? Sure, Molly, I'll bring my soccer ball. See you then. Brookie Cookie! Brookster! Brookie dookie 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 doo 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 doo! <laughs> Molly, you have so many crazy nicknames for me. <laughs> yeah, but my favorite is Brookie Cookie because the word, well, Brookie and Cookie are in it. Oh, you brought the good soccer ball. Of course I did, Molly. Now let's see who can kick it the farthest. Me! It's gonna be me! I don't know, Molly. I've been practicing. Hey, don't send it all the way down into town! Oh, now I have to run down this huge hill! Told you I'd kick it the farthest. <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh, Brookie, you didn't kick it. You missed it and it went behind you. Ow. Okay, yeah, but I've been practicing. Oh, man. It's okay. Just just try again, Brookie. You got this. You got this. Brookie Cookie! Brookie Nader! Brookster! Brookie de doo dee doo dee doo dee doo dee doo. Wow, you have been practicing, Brookie. That's amazing. Thanks, Molly. I really want to try out for the soccer team this fall at school. I think you could make it. I definitely do. Wow. <gasps> Look at this room. Molly didn't clean her room at all. Ew, what's that smell? Is that dirty laundry? Ew, pew. And there's dirt everywhere and garbage. And what's that? Pizza from last week? Yeah. Ugh, Molly. So I told Luke, if he really likes Sarah, then don't bother asking me to the dance. <gasps> yeah, right? She's such a bully. Molly! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Molly, your mom looks and sounds super mad. I don't know why. What got into her? Molly, did you tell me you cleaned your room? Oh, um, about that. Ooh. Molly Acker. You send Brookie Cookie home right now and come inside and clean up this disaster of a room. You're lucky I'm not grounding you for the rest of summer for lying to me. 
Oh man, Brookie. We were just starting to really have fun. I know, Molly. I'm so sorry, but it sounds like your mom's really mad. I might see you next week after I clean it. Seriously, it's that messy. It's gonna take days and days to clean it. Well, Molly, good luck. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. Molly, you and I are gonna have a problem with each other if the whole summer vacation goes like this. Your room is a disaster. Rats are gonna start coming in there. Cockroaches, you have pizza from last week. What's going on? I just got home from the park. Well, your room is very messy, both of you. Ooh. Don't blame me, Molly's the slob. Really, Daisy, I'm the slob? What about those science experiments that went wrong? that smell like a bean burrito fart. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, there's that. Both of you girls go to your room and don't come back out until it's clean. Fine. This totally ruined my hangout with Brookie. Worst Ow. day ever. Uh-oh. Uh, my oh, room is pretty messy. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. Molly, the smell that's coming from your laundry is about to make me pass out. Now, I'm thinking we should probably just shovel it out the window. Ugh, this is gonna take all day. Ah, nobody knows how sad I am. Nobody even cares. Hey, D Daisy, do you remember that door being there? No, we don't even have a closet in this room. Did Dad make a closet while we were gone? I don't remember that, and I was just here this morning. How weird. <gasps> Daisy, do you think we should look inside? I don't know, Molly. Look at how that light is coming out from below the door. That's really weird. Yeah, but maybe it's just a place to put our clothes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Come on, let's step inside. Um, uh, I feel like this might be a bad idea. Daisy, it's a door in our bedroom. I'm sure that it's nothing. Come on. Daisy, what is this place? I don't know. It looks like a trash chute. <laughs> Convenient my dad put a trash chute in our bedroom. That way it makes cleaning out all my garbage super easy. Whoa! What? It was a trash chute. Look, we're just in the basement with a bunch of smelly garbage. Yeah, I thought that door was going to go somewhere cool. Like, a, like an alternate universe. But... Turns out we're just back in our house. Now we gotta go clean our rooms. Yeah, so annoying. Ooh. Daisy, I smell like garbage. Me too, Molly. Ew, it smells gross. Mom, do you have any trash bags? What? Trash bags? For what? Um, because we're cleaning that huge mess out of our room that you told us to. What? Clean a mess? No, you girls don't have to do that. Do you want a cupcake? Um, yeah, are you feeling okay, Mom? I feel great. <laughs> How about I make you all your favorite foods? Um, okay, but you don't want us to clean our room? You were really mad about that. Uh -oh. No way. Cleaning your room is boring. I want to have lots of fun. <coughs> Starting with your most delicious favorite snacks. I don't know what happened to my mom. But all of a sudden, she turned from Karen into the fun mom. Wow. I'm all about this. All about it. Okay, mom, I'll have some cupcakes, some pizza, a candy bar. You know, the list is pretty long. No problem, sweetie. I'll make you anything you ever want. Mm. This donut's delicious. And when I'm done stuffing that in my face, I got some pizza and a muffin. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. Mom, Molly, if we eat any more, we're either going to explode or have the worst stomach ache ever. <laughs> It'll be worth it. So worth it. More donuts. More pizza. More muffins. Here I am with one of your favorite treats. Ice cream. Seriously? Where'd you get that ice cream cart from, Mom? Oh, I just bought it, because I thought you girls would love it. Aw, uh, Mom, you've turned into the best mom ever. Wait, do we have to do any chores today, like vacuum or 
<laughs> no, that's boring. I want us to have fun all the time here. Um, okay. Well, this sounds great to me. Daisy, this is the episode I was telling you about. Where the guy on Survivor gets eaten by a, by a crocodile. Ugh, I ate too many sweets. I feel terrible. Nah, not me. I still got room for more pizza. You're gonna buff, Molly. Oh, look at the time. 8.30. We need to go up to bed. Ugh, yeah. I really wanted to see the part where the crocodile comes, though. Hi, girls. How's TV? Are you having fun? Yeah, totally. Yay, except for we didn't see the part about the crocodile. And it's time for us to go to bed. Bedtime? Don't be ridiculous. There's no such t thing as bedtime here. Wait, what? Sure, you can stay up as late as you want and eat more snacks. Always more snacks. Sounds good to me. Not me. I got a stomachache. Ow. Uh, ugh, I can't take one more bite. My pants are going to explode. <laughs> or, well, <laughs> oops, my stomach might explode instead. Ew, Molly. Come on, Molly. Let's go to bed. My stomach really hurts. Yeah, me too. Come on. It's super late. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm exhausted. And also, I think I might need to have a moth bucket. Ugh, me too. Why did I eat all that? That was a bad idea. Can't believe my mom let me do that. Ugh, my stomach is so upset. I need some medicine. Pepto Bismol, here I come. Ugh. Oh wow, it's really dark down here. My mom always leaves the light on. She knows I'm afraid of the dark. What's that chop chop chopping sound? Mom? Are you still up? Yes, honey. I'm making more sweet treats for you and your sister. Um, uh, actually, I was thinking that I needed some Pepto-Bismol. My stomach's really hurting. No more sweet treats. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. treats and stay up late. You don't have to do any chores and don't even worry about ever going to school again. We can all be together. Always! I mean, as long as you want to be like me. <laughs> and I'm so fun, aren't I? This is all just a bad dream. It's because I ate too many weird things before bed. Yeah, just go back to sleep, Molly. When you wake up, everything will be just fine. I'm sure of it. Ah! <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? I went downstairs to get some medicine. And, 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 and Mom was really, really, really looking different. Daisy, you'd even put your pajamas on. I know. My stomach hurt too bad. I just got into bed just like this. What do you mean, Mom was really different? I mean, she, 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 she had the weird face and her eyes were like really creepy and, uh, Molly, you're being dramatic because your stomach hurts. Go to bed. Fine. Rude. I don't even know if I'm going to be asleep. That creepy face. It's all I can think about. <laughs> No, no, I don't want to be like you, other mother. You're creepy, no. Molly, wake up, it's morning. Huh, what? What, where's creepy mother? What, what are you talking about, Molly? You were just being dramatic. <sighs> Let's go have some breakfast. Something healthy. Yeah, you're probably right. It was probably just my imagination after I ate all that junk food. So now do you want to have something healthy? Um, is a candy bar for breakfast considered healthy? What? No, Molly! You could have an apple or a piece of fruit or some eggs and toast. Yeah, for once in my life, I probably will eat something healthy. Yesterday was crazy! 
Man, my stomach kind of really hurt. Come on, let's go eat some apples and stuff for breakfast. Good morning, Mom! Good morning, girls. I made you pancakes with donuts on top. Uh, we were thinking about something healthy. No more sweet treats, Mom. It's too much on our stomachs. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! Sweet treats are the best. <laughs> ah, it wasn't all a dream! Ah! What is going on right now, Molly? My guess is when we went through that door, it was a portal to another world with another mother. A different mother? Other mother? Creepy mother! <laughs> I'm so much fun. Other mother loves you and wants you to be just like me. <laughs> um, I'm thinking no. How do we get back to reality where there's chores and, you know, not creepy faces and stuff? There is no way back. You're with me now. And I love you. Now let me go get some needle and thread. I want to make your face just like mine. Um, I'm thinking no. Molly, run! Oh my god. Oh my god, I just tripped over the ice cream stand that other mother got. I mean, I guess that'd be a good, okay way to like fall as if you were falling in a vat of ice cream. Molly, quit thinking about crazy food things. Just, just run. I am running as fast as I can after eating all those treats yesterday. Holy guacamole! Daisy, everything looks the same! How do we know how to get back? Daisy, look, what's that? It looks like a portal, Molly! Maybe a doorway back to, back to where we came from! Where are you two going? We're family now. Ah! Daisy, I don't know where that portal goes, but it can't be as bad as here with other mother! Go for it, Daisy! Go! back in our bedroom. Um, that door is evil. Do not ever go in there. Other mother is creepy. Let's see. Let's see, though, if we're back in our own reality. Mom? Mom? Do you have an axe and a, and a creepy face? Ooh. What are you girls doing down here? So far, she seems like our real mom. Of course I'm your real mom. You've been up in your bedroom for five minutes, and I guarantee that room is not clean yet. Mom, I'm so happy to see you. What? Why? What? What's going on? We just love you, Mom. Thanks for making us do all these chores and clean our room and, and, and be sort of like crazy about us, you know, doing our schoolwork, and we love you. Aww. Are you girls trying to get out of cleaning your room? Not gonna happen! Go clean it. Mom, anything you want, we'll do it. Marty, look! The portal door! It's gone! Holy guacamole! You know what I say? Goodbye and good riddance! Yeah, I've never been so happy to clean my messy room. Well, you yeah, have fun with that. I'm just gonna eat this donut from, you know, other mother. <gasps> Molly, you brought back something from the other world? Now she's always gonna have a way to get through to us. Don't eat that donut! Um, too late. <laughs>
four, three, two, one. Molly, you're still in bed. Ugh, Mom, it's just so hard to get out of bed for school right now. I mean, I've been going to school for months. When's it going to be over? Molly, get ready and go to school. No! Fine. Ugh, why does school have to exist? It's just so annoying. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Cheapers. Good morning, Molly. Good morning. Molly, why are you so mad when you could be glad? Because nothing about school makes me glad. I just wanted to be summer vacation already. Well, like Mom said, we still have six weeks left, so you might as well make the best of it. Whoa, the school bus is going really fast today. Probably because she doesn't want to deal with your grumpiness anymore, Molly. Ugh, whatever. We're at school. Again! I feel like I'm always here. Like, more than adults even have a job. Hey, you! Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Do the, do the phone screen right now. Uh, do you ever get tired of school and wish that it was summer vacation? If you do, slam the like button because you're just like me. Well, I, for one, love school. Oh, look who it is. The two loser sisters. Don't even start with me today, Sarah. Can't deal with your bullying. Ha <laughs> well, you better learn because I'm still a bully and I'm still here. Uh-oh. Oh, brother. I'm going to science class. Seriously, Sarah, go away. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm the baddie in this school. Yeah, you're also annoying. Oh, I'm going to tell everybody you farted in math class yesterday. <laughs> so, what? Oh, I'm so sick of school. Go away, Sarah. I'm sick of bullies. I'm sick of getting up early. I just want to sleep in and eat Cheetos on the couch all day. I would be so amazing. Today, class, we're going to be talking about the life of a rock. Oh, boy, this seems so interesting. Who can tell me what type of rock I am? Me, I can. The type of rock you are is called a boring rock. Boring rock. Oh, is it putting me to sleep? Moss is growing on me. Molly, rude. I even wore my rock costume this morning. Can I answer now? Sure you can, Daisy. You're an igneous rock. Wow. That's right. Igneous rocks are fireborn, meaning they're formed from the cooling and solidification of molten and melted rock. Ugh. Ugh. When's lunch? Snacks. Get your snacks. Buddy, what are you doing? Well, you've been working on your science fair project for hours. I figured you might be kind of hungry. Cheapest, Molly, that was awful nice of you. Aww. Take a look at the moon over Brookhaven tonight. Wow, that's amazing. But not as amazing as these Doritos. Ay, yeah, yeah, Molly, I'm always thinking of your stomach. I can't help it. Doritos are so delicious. Wow. Look at the stars over Brookhaven tonight. <gasps> I know, Molly, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, makes me feel so small down here on planet Earth. I know what you mean, Molly, I know what you mean. Ah, <sighs> look at that twinkling one right there. That's Molly's star. Molly, I don't think it's called Molly's star. Yes, it is, Daisy, I named it, it's mine. I wish I may, I wish I might, that my school would disappear tonight. Well, drats! The school's still there. Guess my wish isn't going to come true. That would be the most terrible wish in the whole world. Then I couldn't present this amazing report at the science field. Ugh, you're such a goody two-shoes, Daisy. Huh, what, what time is it? Why didn't Mom wake me up for school? 9.15? Oh no, I'm late for school! Oh, Mom's gonna be so mad. Why am I going this way? I don't know, because I just woke up and my brain isn't even awake yet. Maybe she's trying to teach me a lesson for being so grumpy about school. Then she'll ground me! Good morning! Mom, are you mad at me? I'm so sorry! What? No, why would I be mad at you? 
Wait, is today Saturday? Um, no. Uh, well, it's 9.21, Mom, and I'm not ready for school. School? <laughs> what's that? Mom, quit being goofy. What do you mean, what's school? I mean, school? <laughs> I don't know that I've ever heard of it before. What? Mom, are you crazy right now? School! <laughs> that thing that we do to get an education? Oh, yeah, I heard about that from a really long time ago, like back in prehistoric times or something. Mom, what are you talking about? We have to go to school right now. We're going to be late. Can you drive me? I don't need detention. Detention? What's detention? <laughs> My mom seriously has a bonk on her head. I'm starting to wonder if you have a bonk on your head. Do I need to take you to the hospital, Molly? No. Why is everybody making so much noise this morning? Daisy, mom didn't wake us up for school. What? Why? Because, Daisy, she says there is no school. What? Like it got canceled? Why? Can't be a snow day. It's it's too warm for that. No, Daisy. There is no more school. What are you talking about? What are you two talking about? I think you're trying to prank me right now. Mom! No school? This is tragedy! Molly, how did this happen? Um, mom, um... Daisy and I are going to go for a nice walk to get some exercise. We'll be back in a minute. Or like 20. Okay, well enjoy your morning walk. Thank you. Ah! Oh, weird, Molly never goes for a walk. Molly, what are you talking about with all of this? Um, huh, I have the hiccups. I'm so nervous. Why are you nervous? Because you know that wish I made on the star last night? I'm pretty sure that it came true. Stop hiccuping and talk to me. I'm trying to. All right, Daisy, let's go get dressed. We have to see if the school is still there. It better be Molly or else. Oh, macaroni and cheese. The, 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 the school is missing. Molly, how could you? You wished upon that star and, and, and our school has disappeared. Our school's disappeared? <laughs> this is the happiest day. Done being ridiculous right now. We gotta figure this out. What's there to figure? Life is about to get awesome. Now, come on. Let's go to Starbucks, get some coffee, chill, eat some donuts. Ah, oh, well, I don't see where I really have a choice. I guess my life is over. Dizzy, what's that student doing? He's trying to break the windows at Starbucks. Uh, why? Hold it right there. Oh. This is the third arrest I've gotten for vandalism in, in an hour. What are you doing? I'm just bored. So I thought I'd break this window. Well, you, you, you should be doing something else with your time. Oh my gosh, Molly. Can't you see the school being gone is a bad thing? Um, no, but I see the fact that Starbucks is about to be closed is a bad thing. Uh-oh. Molly, kids have nothing to do, but so now they're just getting in trouble all the time. Well, I don't see how that's my fault. They may have been troublemakers to start. Molly, uh, you have to make another wish. I don't think so. I'm going in to get my donut. Uh, yeah, I'll have one of those blueberry donuts and also um, a blueberry muffin. Wow, Molly, you're really loving the blueberries today, huh? Yeah, just really hungry. Okay, let's see. Blueberry donut, blueberry muffin. That'll be $7, please. Oh, yeah, okay, here's a $20 bill. Wait, what? Why would you give me $20? It was only $7. Um, because I don't have exact money for $7. I just have a $20 bill. You can make me change, right? Um, n no, because I don't know how. What? Wait, what? You don't know 20 minus 7? No, I never learned. Uh-oh. That's because Molly wished that there was no school. Okay, you can just keep the whole $20, but give me some banana nut muffin bread, too. Okay, <laughs> thanks for being understanding. No problem. This banana bread is so good. Starbucks makes the best stuff ever. Marty, don't you see? The whole town is going haywire. You have to take your wish back. Not a chance. I get to hang out and eat banana bread all day. This is the best life ever. Marty, listen to me. The town's going to chaos! Come on, Daisy, let's go hang out at the park. 
It's such a nice day and we're not stuck inside at school, which makes me super happy. Mmm. Well, I could eat about five more pieces of this, of this banana nut, um, muffin bread. It's so good. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Two losers. Uh, Sarah, there's no school, so, um, you have nowhere to be a bully. What are you talking about? I have all the time in the world not to be a bully and nowhere to be but to bug you all day long and, well, bully you. Huh? What? That's right. No school means I get to bully you. Now give me that banana bread. I'm hungry. Uh-oh! What? No, it's my banana bread. Oh, boy, Marley. Now do you see why it's a problem? Give it to me or else. Ugh. Fine. Here. I'm still taking more bites of it. Give me it, you little brat. Uh, maybe a science show will chew me up. Pizza cheers me up. Welcome to the Nature Channel. Here, we see these things that I don't know the name of swimming around the ocean. What? The, the guy that's making the TV show doesn't know the name Dolphins? What's going on? Um, no school, remember? Oz, he's supposed to know they're dolphins. As you can see, they're just swimming around. They look really happy. But, um, I don't know anything else about them. This show stinks! I wonder who that could be. Maybe more pizza delivery. Just what you need, Molly. More pizza. Um, no, it's Sarah. Ugh. What do you want, Sarah? Let me in, loser, or else. She came to our house to bully us now. And also, give me that pizza. Um, I'm thinking lock the door. If you lock that door, I'm gonna... Molly, she can follow us everywhere now. Seriously, she's gonna just keep bullying you and stealing all your food. No one on the TV knows what they're talking about. There's people going crazy everywhere. Take your wish back. Ugh, fine. There's Molly Star. I wish I may. I wish I might. Ugh, only losers wish on stars. Sarah, shh. This is important. No, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm just gonna bully you all night. I wish my school would return tonight! <laughs> wake up! What are you girls doing sleeping in so late? Wake up, wake up, wake up! Huh? What? what, what what's happening? You girls are going to be late for school! <gasps> school? This school again? Again? Why don't you get a bonk on your head? Of course, you still have six more weeks of school before summer vacation. Oh, man. I guess school's back. Um, it never left, did it? <laughs> I'm so happy I get to go back to school. Oh, how annoying. <laughs> oh, look, it's Daisy and Luke in the car together. Boyfriend and girlfriend? What? No. Everybody knows that Luke likes me, not my sister. Well, they're pulling up to the pizzeria together, Molly, so. So? So what? Uh, Daisy probably just gave him a ride. Hey guys, what's up? I, uh, Luke just texted me and said he needed a ride. See, told you. Would've been nice if he gave me a ride. Sorry, Molly, you were going over to pick up Lucky. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, Luke. <laughs> what's up? Not much. Uh, Daisy just gave me a ride because she's really, I mean, really nice. <gasps> oh, <laughs> thank you. So, um, we're going to go get pizza? Yeah, I thought so. Rosa Pizza is, like, the best. Except for if you count going to Chuck E. Cheese. What? Chuck E. Cheese? I haven't been there since I was, like, baby, a baby or something. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time we went, we were, like, three or four years old. I totally want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. It's so fun there. And a little bit creepy. Chucky is like something from my worst nightmares. Wrong Chucky, Molly. Nope, 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 nope. I'm talking about Chuck E. Cheese, the giant creepy rat. Seriously? You're afraid of a giant mouse? Yeah, he is kind of creepy. Well, maybe he took the day off. I'm going to go to Chuck E. Cheese and play some games and eat pizza. Yeah, me too. Let's see if we can all stuff inside my car. I don't know, Daisy. Your car is really small, but we might be able to all fit in here. I get shotgun. See, we all fit. 
Just goes kind of slow because Molly ate too many cupcakes for lunch. What? Okay, I can't even deny that one. I probably did eat too many cupcakes for lunch. Turkey cheese is so much fun. Daisy, way to run every single red light in the entire game. Uh, I didn't run that one. It was green. Yeah, but you just ran that one. Daisy, you just drove right by it. I'm parking in the back. Chill out. Does anybody else notice that Molly and Daisy fight a lot? It's probably because they're sisters. Definitely the most annoying sister. <coughs> Whoa, Chuck E. Cheese got a makeover. Yeah, no creepy animatronics or anything. <gasps> yeah, just so many cool games. <laughs> Some of my favorites. All right, I'm going to snap this because I just feel like um, people might not know that our town has such an awesome Chuck E. Cheese right now. Hey, guys, there's my BFF, Brookie. There's my annoying sister, Daisy. Hey, Molly Boo. And there is my um, friend, yeah, friend, Luke. And we are at the new and improved Chuck E. Cheese. Look at this. This looks amazing. They have air hockey. They have bowling. Hey, Molly, they've got your favorite crane game. What? Okay, I got to finish this Snapchat, guys, because I'm going to go play crane game with um luke okay bye hey molly did you know that if you stick your arm up inside the crane game um you can actually just like take a toy out of there what that's cheating i know i would never do it because you know i'm not a thief but i just think it's kind of cool that you could actually do it one time i watched this kid like crawl up in there and he got all the toys and then he took a nap inside you're making that up. no i'm not i'm being serious <laughs> Oh my god, that's crazy. Well, um, I'll be right back because I'm gonna go get a soda, but then we can play crane game. Do you want a soda too, Luke? Sure, that would be great. I'd love one. Okay, be right back. <coughs> he really likes me. <gasps> well, we're just waiting on the waiter or waitress to come take our order because I'm starving and I want something to eat. Yeah, Luke's waiting to play crane game with me, but I want some soda too. Oh, I can't wait to snap this. Oh, I look so cute today. Hey, everyone. Just looking adorable at my job. Excuse me, but not to be rude, but we're really hungry and we want something to drink. Can you please take our order? Yeah, and our friend Luke over there definitely wants something to drink and eat too. Wait a minute. There were ten toys in that crane game, and now there's only nine. Whoa, my friend Luke must have won one. No, there was no more money put into it because every time money gets put in, we get like a little signal on our phones that tells us that. Whoa, really? Yeah, it shows us every time we make a sale at Chuck E. Cheese and I didn't get one. So did your friend just steal from the crane game? Well, I just heard him say that you could stick your arm up in there and get a free toy. Um, Daisy, I'm not sure we should tell her that. Our friend Luke, he doesn't steal anything. Well, maybe we should let the police decide. What? No, put away your phone. He didn't do it. He's innocent. Let's just let the police decide whether he stole a toy or not. Lady, why are you being so rude to my boyfriend? <gasps> your Ow. boyfriend? Who said it was your boyfriend? Oh, no. Are you guys going to fight over Luke? I mean, your sister's first, and then your friends with Luke second. Well, there's no fighting. He's my boyfriend. He's actually neither of your boyfriends. Well, I'm sure he didn't steal anything. Luke, Luke, they're about to call the cops. Wait, what? Why? Did Chuck E. Cheese come back? Has he gone crazy like you said? No, there's a toy missing from the crane game, and no money got put in. It was supposed to be 10 toys, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two missing toys. Well, I didn't take them. I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. Well, it had to be somebody, and you were the only one standing here. Are you accusing me of stealing those toys? <gasps> I thought we were friends. Ah, uh, no, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying that the police are coming. Uh-oh. I think you're innocent, though. Well, I'm sure it's just all a misunderstanding. Where's the criminal? I'm going to take him down. What? There's no criminal here. Actually, someone stole two toys from the crane game. And I looked at surveillance footage and you were the only one. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he took it. Yeah. Maybe he's very good at being a thief. Is this the first time you've stolen from a crane game? <gasps> are you a serial crane game thief? Uh-oh. Um, I don't even know if that's a real sentence you just said, but... Maddie... Don't talk to the police like that. You'll be arrested next. Well, I'll be hauling you off to jail now. Wait, what? You can't take him. He's 
He's my friend! Yeah, and he's gonna stay here, lady! It's okay, Molly. I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Yeah! You'll be out in no time. I just know it. Mm-hmm. Sure you will. That's what all the criminals say. Come on, let's go. Hey, you! There! In my bed! wrong jail cell. This is my room. No! Jail cell number one is mine! This is only my third time in here, and I always am in number one. Oh, sorry. Did you just get taller? No, I was just squatting down, so I didn't want to make you feel as bad, but now, since you're just trying to steal my bed, I'm just gonna have to beat you up! What? No! I, I, I'm not like a, a criminal. I, I... They said I stole two toys from the crane machine at, at Chuck E. Cheese, but I didn't do it. Really? Wow. Gosh. You're a bad guy. Um, not really, because I didn't actually do it. What are you in here for, and what's your name? Hey, I'm Fred. My reason for being in here this time is that, well, I stole a pacifier from Target. Seriously? Dude, you're like 40. You don't need a pacifier anymore. No. Or this kid that was crying in the one aisle over. I felt sorry for it, and also it was really loud. So I went to give it a pacifier. But of course, I don't know what a pacifier. Um, Fred? Are those bunny slippers? Yeah, of course they are! I'm about to go to bed, duh! Now get out of my jail cell! Um, I would, but I can't open the door! Well then, I guess you gotta sleep on the top bunk. Okay, hope we can be friends, Fred! Don't count on it, kid. So, uh, boss, why'd you want to see us in your jail cell? Yeah, well, I've got a new idea to get on out of here. Oh, boss, you're so smart. I hope this time we get out of jail for real. Yeah, so we can rob some more banks. Okay, boys. First, change my diaper. Boss, uh, I don't think so. Aren't you potty trained? Yeah, but I was just messing with ya! <laughs> uh -oh. oh, boss, you're so funny! <laughs> well, laugh! <laughs> you're our funny boss! When I say laugh, I mean laugh! When I say break me out of jail, I mean break me out of jail! I can't believe I got put in a max security prison for all boys! Oh, I miss school. I miss my friends. I miss pizza! Mmm, this pizza's really good. Yeah, really good. Lali, are you okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Lali, you're eating ale. There's no pizza in your hand. Oh, yeah, I guess I wasn't very hungry. Lali, what's going on? I found out today on Snapchat that Luke has been sent to a max security all-boys prison. What? Yeah, we can't even go visit him because we're girls. Oh, but gee, Molly, how long they be there for? I don't know, Daisy. I, I think probably ten years for stealing those two toys from Chuck E. Cheese. What? Whoa, five years for each toy, and the things were only worth about fifty cents. That seems a bit harsh. Yeah, but if you do the crime, you do the time. Except for Luke didn't do anything. I don't know how those toys disappeared. Maybe they just counted wrong. My friend, he's not a thief. I know, Molly, I know. But there's not much we could do. I know. Oh, this is terrible. Who's going to play Roblox with me? I will, Molly. But you're my annoying sister. I want Luke. Yeah. Molly, I know you have a crush on him. What? Don't say that. He's just my friend and I miss him. I know, I miss him too. Breaking news, breaking news. Little Nikki is back in prison. Oh my gosh, that guy will never stop. Yeah, and he's not even five years old yet. Think about the criminal, Sarah, that he's gonna be when he's like 15 or 20. Yeah, he's the biggest criminal we have in this town. Whoa, little Nikki is back in prison? Wait a minute. That gives me a great idea. Molly, I don't like when you have great ideas. They end up really bad ideas. They're gonna put Luke in an all-boys prison? 
then they're gonna have to lock me up too. Uh, Molly, you a girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. Molly, where are you going? <coughs> Outfit change. Molly, you're gonna get dressed up? But Luke's not even here to take you out on a date. <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy. Hey, everybody, it's me, Molly. I'm doing this last Snapchat because I don't know if I'm going to return from this mission. But if I do, guys, you can guarantee that I'm going to have my friend Luke with me. And then he might ask me to dance, so I'm extra excited about that. Okay, guys, I hope I see you soon. Bye. <coughs> well, what do you think? Molly, what are you wearing? <laughs> you look like little Nikki. Yeah, I'm little Nikki's twin. <laughs> this wig is awesome. Uh, Molly, I don't know if they're gonna believe it. And why do you want to pretend you're his twin? Because how do they know who did the crime? Little Nikki or Molly Nikki? <laughs> I guess they wouldn't know. And that means they'd have to put you in the prison. That's right. So I get to see Luke and hopefully break him out of there. Molly, when I said that your ideas were bad ones, I really meant it. You might get locked up forever. To help my friend, it'd be worth it. Molly! Don't leave! Don't worry, Roblox wouldn't let me. It actually made me chill on the couch. <laughs> I hate when Roblox does that. Yeah, well, now I'm actually leaving. Bum bum bum! Time to use my phone to teleport. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could actually teleport in real life? <laughs> yeah. That would save a lot of car accidents. <laughs> Alright, guys. Here we go. I'm about to save my best friend. Actually, sorry. Uh, Brookie, are you watching this? Yes? Did you just call Luke your best friend? Ow. See, I mean, you're my best friend, Brookie, and Luke is my soon-to-be <gasps> boyfriend. Yeah. Ooh la la! <coughs> Hi there! Whoa! Little Nikki, how'd you get out? Wait a minute, you're not Little Nikki. You're way too tall to be Little Nikki. Haha, <laughs> that's because I'm Little Nikki's twin! Uh -oh. Little Vicky! Little Vicky? Yeah, as in Victor, Vicky, Victor... I didn't know he had a twin brother. Wait, how are you so much taller than he is if you're twins? I had a growth spurt, duh. All kids grow at different rates, duh. Huh. Are you supposed to be smart, bacon hair? Actually, no, I'm kind of a noob. Uh, okay. Well, do you need to lock me up? Um, why? Because how do you know which twin actually did the crime? Oh, yeah, that's true. Have you been helping your brother rob Ben? Absolutely. You have the right to remain silent! You're going to jail! Perfect! Really? You're that excited about it? Wow, you're kind of messed up. Well, you know what they say, three hots and a cot. Place to sleep, a place to eat. Sounds good to me. Hi, free! Now, do you serve pizza? No. Uh-oh! Only have gruel three times a day. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll learn to love it. You'll be in cell number one. Luke! Nikki? Wait, did you have a growth spurt? I'm sorry. I promise I won't ever look at you the wrong way ever again. Um, yeah, um, what? I promise, don't give me any more swirlies in the toilet. Yeah. That was the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, wow. Totally gonna have a little bit of, uh, just trauma from that one, huh? <laughs> Luke, it's not little Nikki. It's, uh, little Vicky. <laughs> Wait, there's two of you? <laughs> uh, no. Luke, it's me. I uh, know. Oh, please. I'm, okay, I'm sleeping. Just ignore me. I'm not even here. Luke, it's me, Molly. Wait, what? What? Molly? Yeah, I'm wearing a wig and some fake muscles and this ridiculous outfit and I don't know why I keep just... This game is so glitchy! Ah! Don't you know I'm trying to make a role play? Uh, Molly, um, can we get back to the story? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so I'm a little Vicky, but I'm actually Molly and I, I went undercover to get you out of here. Wait, you snuck into an all-boys prison? Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you, Luke. Only for you. Oh. <laughs> Um, that was a nice thing to say. Well, I guess we're gonna get to know each other better since we're roomies now. Yeah, except for this wig is really itchy. Ugh. Okay, everybody, you have the right to remain silent. Who 
is this clown? He's just one of little Nicky's, well, cronies. Wait, little Nicky? I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'll do better next time. Uh -oh. Yeah, you better. You better get me and my friend Luke out of here. Tonight. Okay, well, I got a job in the tools section, so finally they trust me enough. They don't know that I'm one of your cronies. Did you hear that, Luke? He works in the tools section at the gym. <laughs> this means he's going to get us out of here. I don't know. That guy's kind of, well, ignoramus. Well, it doesn't matter if he's dumb or not. He's getting us out of here. They lock the doors after 8 p.m. There's no leaving or going from the jail cells. Don't worry. I have a feeling that my crony will figure this out. Wow, you're actually kind of like little Nikki, only cuter. Oh, even in this ugly wig. Absolutely, Molly. <laughs> that was a nice thing to say. Hey, if we get out of here, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? Um, uh... I mean, you don't have to. Yes, I'll go to the dance with you, sure! Okay, I didn't think you were going to be that excited about it. Well, I will be excited about anything if I can get out of here. Um, it's kind of bad, but I have to go to the bathroom. What? No, you're going to have to hold it! But I had a taco for lunch. Molly! Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're stuck in the same room, so, um, didn't mean to gas you out. Psst. Guys, come on! I broke the lock! <laughs> Perfect, crony! Let's get out of here! You do have a way out, right? Sure do! Watch this! What? Freedom! Come on, Luke! We're out of here! You sure this is a good idea, Molly? Yeah! Now we have to figure out how to prove your innocence! Should we steal that police car? No! Then we go back to jail for that! We just need to go to Chuck E. Cheese and try to figure out how to get you out of this! And, uh, I probably should change out of this outfit, and you should change out of that one. We look pretty obvious. Uh, Luke? Are you going undercover like that? Mamma mia! Boy, are you going undercover like that? Your dress is a giant burrito! I know, I was so hungry that this is what I picked, because I'm, like, really hungry. The jail doesn't even feed you! Molly, you were there for, like, two hours. Yeah, I know, but I was expecting to give me pizza for dinner! It's jail! Exactly, it's jail! You don't get fed there! They just feed you gruel, and and if you can catch a mouse, you could probably eat that. Ew! Ew gross! Now, come on, Luke. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, Molly. Hopefully we can prove my innocence. Yeah, and then we can go get bean burritos. I'm starving. Oh, Molly. You're always thinking of your stomach. Very true. Very true. <laughs> In this Brookhaven mini-movie, we see what life is like for a school nurse. Today seems like a normal day, but when a virus goes around the school, the nurse has to treat the students before it gets any worse. Then one of the students breaks her ankle too. It's a crazy day for our school nurse, and she's just one of the heroes that help people get better every day. Guys, don't forget to watch to the end of this video to find out what the nurse does after school. And slam that like button and comment below. We read all of your comments, guys. No, no, I can't. I can't, I can't take the test. I'm, I'm not ready. I, I, I didn't study about pink unicorns. No, no. Molly, Molly, are you? Molly, are you so sleepy? Oh, what? Pink unicorns. Molly, you d you're having a weird dream about pink unicorns. Seriously. Wake up. It's time for school. I don't want to have to spray you with the fire extinguisher again. No. No, I can't wake up. Too tired. Too sick. Ugh. Molly! Get out of this bed right now! Ow! Daisy, quit jumping on me! That hurts! Daisy, I really don't feel good. Molly, I don't believe you. Are you seriously going to crawl out of bed? Holy guacamole, the bus is going to be here any minute. We're going to be late for school. Daisy, I told you already. I don't feel good. Ugh. Molly, you never feel good when it means you have to go to school. Quit faking it and get ready. Who, who do you think you are anyway, my mom? No, but mom's not here right now. She had to go to work early, so she said, I'm in charge. So get ready for school.
Ugh, I really don't feel good. And it's not just because we have a test in math class today. My stomach feels all funny and my head hurts. Well, I guess I better go into the bathroom and get ready or Daisy will grab me for life. <gasps> oh, wait, I went into the wrong room. That's how sick I am. I don't even know where I am right now. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Blech. Oh, I really don't feel good. <laughs> oh, Molly, I heard that. Try not to eat so many beans. Well, I guess I better brush my teeth. I don't want to have stinky breath. Okay, let's see. Where is my toothbrush? Where, where? Okay, there it is. Molly, come on. The school bus is here. Uh, well, I got to brush my teeth a little bit. Guess I don't even have time for breakfast. Oh, well, my stomach hurts anyway. Molly, did you seriously just jump over the railing again? Mom told you not to do that. Look, I know you think you're in charge this morning, but I'm not in the mood, Daisy. Don't be rude to me, Molly. I don't care. I I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Molly, where's your backpack? Oh, yeah, I forgot my backpack. All right, let me grab it. Got it. Molly, that's not your backpack. I know. My backpack's in the washer. All I have is a suitcase, and it feels so heavy. Molly, get on the school bus. We don't want to be late. Daisy, you're always so worried we're going to be late. We're not going to be late, I promise. Yeah, because I annoy you all the time and tell you, come on, let's go. <gasps> Molly, why are you driving a school bus? What is going on? Molly, you cannot drive a school bus. Well, the school bus driver quit last week, so it's my job to drive us to school. Oh, my God, we're all going to die. Daisy, seriously, quit being so dramatic. Molly... Molly, that's not a wound! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! My sister is so dramatic, I swear. Molly, quit driving on the sidewalk! Oh boy, this isn't gonna be good. You're gonna crash into the school! Well, I got us here on time, though. Oh, brother, look at this! It's, it's... The bus is in the... Okay, just back the bus up. Okay, fine. I thought my park job was just fine. Molly, you parked inside the school! Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's just get school over with. Ugh, I'm really not feeling too good. My stomach hurts. Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly. Good morning. Whoa, Molly. You look like a zombie. I'm not really a zombie. I don't crave brains or anything. But my stomach is really upset. Oh, Molly. You look like maybe you have a flu bug or something. Uh, you're my best friend and I love you and stuff, but could you sit over there? Because I don't want it. Yeah, okay, fine. I wonder where the teacher is. She should be here any minute. There's the teacher. Man, she's late. She should get detention. I heard that, Molly. Good morning. Traffic was terrible and the school bus driver was driving insane. Um, I don't know who the school bus driver is. Me either, but they should get fired. I agree. I totally agree. Hey, I got us here on time, didn't I? Okay, Molly, since you're so talkative today, why don't you come up to the board and solve this problem? Oh, man, do I have to? Yes, Molly, please. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to this. I also don't feel so good. I don't I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel so good. Molly? Molly, are you okay? Molly, say something. She's just faking it because she doesn't want to have to do the problem on the board. Molly, should I do CPR? No, no, I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh my gosh. Molly, what's wrong? I think I might have the flu or something. I don't feel so good. Okay, Molly. Well, let me help you up. Come on. There you go. Okay, why don't you head right to the school nurse? Okay. She's faking it! Um, Daisy, uh, she's actually green. She feels so sick. She's definitely not faking it. She probably just painted herself that way with makeup. Daisy, do you want to find out by me coughing on you? No, don't cough on me! You have some sort of weird disease! See, I guess I'm not faking it anymore, am I, Daisy? Ugh, off to the school nurse. Uh, uh, nurse Susie? Oh, Molly, what brings you into the nurse's office today? Nurse Susie, I, 
I do, I don't f f feel very good. I passed out in my math class. Oh my gosh, Molly! Okay, come right in and lay down on the magic cot. Okay. Why is it called magic? Well, because when you lay on it, sometimes you feel better and you can go back to class. Would you like to try that? Yeah, oh, oh okay, I'll lay here for a few minutes. Okay, I'll be back to check on you. Bye! Ugh, I still don't feel good. Ugh. Molly, how are you feeling? The magic cot didn't work! The magic cot didn't work! Oh my goodness, Molly. Hmm, this sandwich is delicious. Oh, that's gonna make me throw up. Get out of here with that sandwich! Ooh, you're a little grumpy. Okay, I'm gonna take you into the x-ray room and just take a quick look at your lungs, okay? Fine. Ugh. Okay, Molly, hop right into the x-ray machine. This won't hurt a bit. Okay. Ugh. I think maybe, um, I'm dying! You're not dying, Molly. Trust me. Oh, my. It looks as if your lungs are congested. I think you definitely have the flu. We're going to have to call your mom and you're going to go home. Now, tell me why exactly you came into school today. You could pass this disease to lots of other... Well, it's not a disease, but you could pass this virus to a lot of other people. Um, because my sister said I was faking it. And my mom left her in charge. She had to go to work early. Well, viruses are not anything to take lightly. You definitely have a fever and congestion in your lungs. You need to be home in bed resting. Now, what's your mom's phone number? It's one, two, seven, three, six, five, four. All right, I'll ring her right now. Hello? Hi, this is the school nurse, Nurse Susie. Oh no, which one of them are in trouble now? No, no, it's the school nurse. How many months does Molly have detention for? No, no, no. <laughs> um, Molly is actually sick. What? She is? Is she okay? She appears to have some lung congestion and a fever. It's just a typical virus, but I need you to come pick her up. Absolutely. Tell Molly I'll be right there. Okay, thanks so much. Molly, your mom says she'll be right here. Come on, you can go lay back down on the magic cot until she gets here. Are you going to make me go back to class? Absolutely not, Molly. You're probably contagious. And you need to be home in your own comfortable bed. Even the magic cot can't work this time. Now just close your eyes and rest till your mom gets here. Thank you. Uh, I don't feel so good. Nurse Susie. <coughs> oh my, Daisy. Are you okay? Wow, you look just like your sister. I'm not a zombie, I swear. I just feel so sick. I look terrible. Oh, she infected me with her disease. Actually, correction. She infected you with a virus. Ah, come on. I'll give you an x-ray and see if you have the same lung congestion. If you do, I'll send you home and you can rest. Ah, oh, that would be good. Please call my mom right away. <coughs> This won't hurt a bit, Daisy. Okay, if you say so. Oh, but my stomach hurts. Just as I suspected. Lung congestion, just like Molly. Okay, and you have a fever. I'm going to call your mom. Hello? Hi, um, I'm so sorry to do this again, but it's Nurse Susie. Oh no, did Molly forget her backpack? I just got her into bed. No, no, no. Molly didn't forget anything, but you're going to have to come back down to the school. Wait, what? D did you forget to tell me she has attention? No, it's Daisy. She has the same virus as Molly. Oh, no, Daisy. Okay, well, tell Daisy I'll be there in like five minutes to pick her up. Will do. Thank you. Daisy, your mom says she's coming soon. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I want to go home so bad. I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, it's all right. Your mom said she'll be here in like five minutes. So everything's going to be all right, okay? 
I feel bad because I told my sister she was faking it. And I made her come to school because my mom left me in charge. Oh, Daisy. Well, in your defense, Molly does fake being sick sometimes and gets detention. I know, but now that I've caught this virus, I know exactly how she feels. It's horrible! Oh, Daisy, everything will be fine, I promise. You'll be over this virus in no time. Now, come on, you can lay on the magic cot until your mom gets here. What's so magic about it? It doesn't make me feel better. Why does everybody call it the magic cot? Don't worry, Brookie. Now that you're at the school nurse, everything will be fine because they have a magic cot here. I don't know about that magic cot, Brittany. I don't think it really works. Especially not if you hurt your leg like I did. Everything's going to be fine, Brookie. Trust me. Although I'm not really sure how you did that crazy thing at the playground. I, I know. It just it hurts so bad. The school nurse will help you, I promise. I just keep thinking about my accident. It was horrible. Hey, Brittany, want to see me backflip? I've been working on this in gymnastics. Um, Brookie, I don't think that's a really good idea. That's a really high ladder. And and I don't, I don't, I don't know. What? I can't hear you. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Brookie? Brookie, are you okay? No, my leg! I think it's broken! Oh my gosh! It just keeps playing over and over in my mind, like in slow motion. Oh, Brookie, I'm so sorry you got hurt. It's, it's, it's horrible. It is horrible. Hey, girls, what brings you? Whoa! What happened to you, Brookie? Um, she fell on the playground. Well, actually, she was doing a backflip off the tallest slide ladder that we have in the playground. What? Why were you doing that? Oh, I'm getting so tired. I've seen so many students today. Well, you better wake up because Brookie here needs your help, Nurse Susie. Okay, Brookie, come on into the x-ray room and we'll take a look at what's going on inside your leg. Oh, okay, I'm really nervous. Don't be nervous, Brookie. An x-ray doesn't hurt. One time I fell and hurt my arm and I had to have an x-ray. It didn't hurt at all. Okay, I'll wait out here for you. Just as I suspected, you definitely have a broken ankle. I'm going to have to call your mom and she'll have to take you to the hospital. Oh, no. This is the worst news ever! And just hang tight, Brookie. I'm gonna call your mom now. Hello? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, Brookie got hurt at school today. I'm so sorry to tell you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I think she's broken her ankle. Yes, you'll have to take her to the hospital. I'll call ahead for you. Okay, see you in 15 minutes. Goodbye. Your mom's on her way, Brookie, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm just scared. Everything's going to be all right, I promise. Oh, this was the longest day in the history of days. Oh, I can't wait to go home. Oh. Oh, that was such a long day, but my favorite show is on Survivor. OMG, I love this show so much. I wonder what's going to happen to Matt. And, and did Judy survive? Oh. Uh...